All right, in this video, we're going to go over how to use the weekly timesheet. Uh, you can do manual entry, and this, um, the weekly timesheet, is also available for importing into. <clears throat> so if you use an outside software that imports into QuickBooks, um, you can import time data. So if you're having to recreate time data uh, in a larger fashion, make sure to uh, contact your local pro advisor or contact us and, and we can get you uh, an easy to use software that'll allow you to import that data. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to manually enter a weekly timesheet. So you go up here under employees, go to enter time and say use weekly timesheet. Okay, make it bigger here. You're gonna choose the employee that you're entering the timesheet for. Please notice that you can enter it for vendors so you can keep time tracking. You can do time tracking with your 1099 vendors or your subcontractors. You can also use other names for time tracking, but we're just gonna choose an employee for now, okay? So Dan T. Miller, uh, we want to be sure, if you want to be able to track um, on a per class basis, make sure you have the preferences set up or a, a per, line item basis, the class, make sure you have that preference set up. And we'll talk about that in a little bit in another video. I'm sorry, how to set up your preferences so you can do time tracking to the fullest extent. All right, so your customer and job here, we're gonna go ahead and add that they were working on this remodel. What type of service item were they doing? They were doing some framing work. All right, any special notes that we wanna add in here, we can add in the notes. What class does this fall under? and then you can put in the time. Okay, over here you mark it as billable or not billable. If you're gonna directly bill your client for the hours spent on this timesheet, you wanna make, mark this billable. But if you've already created an estimate on this and you're not going to bill them for the exact hours, you're just gonna bill them a flat fee, then you do not wanna mark it as billable. Even if it's not marked as billable, when you process payroll, the expense portion of this line, so these, these 12 hours that were worked during the work week on this project, the expense side of it will still be assigned to this project. So you'll still see under framing some costs, okay, when you look at your estimate versus actual or your job profitability summary reports. All right. So marketing it billable or not, the only thing that's going to do is make it that if you want to create an invoice based off of the exact hours here. All right, so he didn't work on just one project. He worked on some um, repairs over at Renee's house and, you know, four hours here and four hours there. Again, billable, non-billable. Okay. <clears throat> So from here, we're just gonna go ahead and say save, uh, or I'm gonna say next actually. Okay, so it keeps Dan T. Miller here because I just clicked next instead of save and close or save and new. Um, now what is nice about this feature is, let's say Dan pretty much consistently works on the same projects every week. They, you know, we are a pool cleaning business and he visits the same customers every week. So what I can do is I can actually copy my last sheet, meaning this last time card here, copy last sheet, and it moves it all forward. Okay, so if there's some consistency there, that's a great way to easily enter your timesheet data by the week. Okay. So uh, also, if you have it set up, you notice here, so Dan didn't have it set up this way, but you can if it, the employee has the right setup. Let's see. Let's see if any of these have set up, are set up the right way. Yes, okay, so Joe Smith. So under Joe Smith here, we can choose our customer, we can choose our service item, we can choose our payroll item. So they were working on repairs and it was overtime pay. You can also choose your workers' comp code. Okay, so if, if the employee is set up to track workers' compensation information, you can choose which workers comp code that they were working on that day. All right, and you can see that in the manual setup in, in the manual setup video. Okay, 
So it just gives you a lot of extra levels of tracking for your payroll.